inside the Budokan Fending off Shinobi in my cool world, we show the con Turn off with my comma song, comma sick with Samurai While most is playing What's going on guys, it's Greg Farley from The Wise Guys Shout out to the napkins, we're Buffalo Wild Wings And I'm here with, and what did you do today sir? Uh, so his brother topped and he won a winner match so they're like, that's like, he's like, he's he's Ryu and he's Ken. Okay, okay. And what'd you play? Oh, I see an Electromite. Shout out to Electromite in the background. Let's get into this young deck profile. Alright, so I played three Chronograph. Time to go with the Chronograph. The two curtain razors. The next week, what came out? Three defense with me. Yeah, it was done. The deck could not be seen ever. Couldn't beat in front of us. The Jackal Inferno. Happy birthday! Two Jackal 3 servers. It's pretty cool. Three Dark Lord. It's only okay because Jackal 3 is good. It has all the cards to try and summon Electromite. So what it does? As fast as possible. You don't need it. Most of the time you don't need it. 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 Right. It's not good enough to make it that guy. It's not good enough, but it's still good. Why is it so cheap? The best Lake Monster we got was the... Why is it so cheap? Why is it so cheap? Why is it so cheap? This is the broken card. Yeah, it negates the light monster. It's just like rips the next consistency so much. And it's level 7 for the Vortex. Absolutely. But it's something you add dragons to be in here. Okay, next year again. Three purple poison. Is that what it says? Yeah, then it's like a green beast or something. Three harmonizing. I would love a play center of that card. Or it's vice versa. Three oak dragon. Three wisdom eye. I maximized on all the magicians because of the end. So I like my being at one. So that uh, most of the time in guarantees you open with some kind of scales. Right on. And the last vegetable monster is the one rescue hamster. I, mean, I, I just knew the fight. Let me go. Yeah, the, the one rescue hamster, it can help you extend and other things and help with rank, uh, rank fours. Right on. Cards. And the only non pendulum monster in the main deck is 3 8 back uh, It's just helpful as another negate. Uh, I negated an ultimate conductor so I ran away then and then pushed for game with Boros Oh, this deck can't win your second. That's impossible. Even when the deck was good, and like, spell cards. Double pendulum call, get the scales, opening this in dark arms. Like, like any pendulum deck. Pendulum something fun. Squeak or good. Double desires and a little darkness for the draw cards. Like everyone says, and then the like, cards send dark worm. I like trying to push like burial. And then uh, if you don't want to send dark worm, you can use the, if you open the foolish, you can use the foolish. Send dark bug as to summon off the black bank. If you're going second and your opponent has a monster. Okay. And then an extra deck. One electric mice since I got hit to one. Uh, one underclock taker. Sends another link two and a downward arrow. Uh, two nightmares, Phoenix and Cerberus. And then the Deco Talker. Is, uh, I realized I forgot Metaltron. You forgot Metaltron? But Deco Talker ended up coming up. Because uh, I'm waiting against Alter Guys. And I had Deco Talker pointing at a harmonizing and a Vortex Dragon. And then almost had Metal Seek. Attack me directly. Use Metal Seek. Because it's similar to the Reno I also had. So now you can use Deco to negate and destroy it. And then uh, the Deco Dragon is a and then they're building fours at four alone. And then I'm on Boral Sword. And I think the Boral Sword is. So this is Boral Sword. Okay. Boral Sword is definitely the best card in the extra deck after Electromite. Uh, you just name so many monsters, you can just OTK it to most boards. Yeah. Right on. It's all the Link monsters. For the EXCs, and the Karen Gorgon. Sauce. To redirect targeting. Is that card walks around Widow Anchor? Yeah, I redirected a Pankerton for this. To, I had this and Electromite. And I redirected the Pankertops to destroy one of my scales to get a draw off Electromite. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, we need uh, playing the Dorito, the Spell and Trap again. The Time Gazer, to search another magician or any other spellcaster. Uh, 
played the Supreme King. He didn't have it. And uh, I played against the Thunder Dino with this. And they ended with Colossus on their field. And I summoned this and attacked into the Colossus. Reduced the Colossus to zero and hit him for 5,100 damage. And I also had Boral Sword out. So you, so you smoked the Thunder Dragon guy? And the absolute is for the vortex. It's ulti. Shout out to the ulti. And then the two synchros, Ignister, and Supreme King Clear Wing. This walks around targeting anything or destroying anything. Yeah, I had to play against Blue Eyes and he summoned Azure Eyes so I couldn't target it with card effects. Was it the almighty Alan Nails? It was Alan. So you beat him? Yeah. Okay. For him. Uh, I just I spun back his uh, uh, Azure Eyes and then not to gain him. That yeah, stinks for him. All he had was Azure Eyes. Oh, man. He's getting that young side deck. Uh, all the extra deck. This is the mat, by the way, so he beat Kyber to get this. No disrespect to Kyber, though, but. Side deck. I sided six hand traps. Sided two Ash, uh, two Droll, and then two Ghost Bells that I borrowed. Uh, I didn't actually side in the Droll during the uh, win of match because I didn't play against like the FDK or anything. Uh, I sided in the Ash and the Bell. Uh, the Bell won me the match. One of the matches against Alan. Uh, he was trying to bait me into evenly ma and uh, evenly matching me because I had vortex. And he was trying to bait the vortex to gate. Uh, and uh, I had the ghost spell for the turn of the dragon lord. Sh shout out to the Sox fan in the background. You know, got the World Series on. So yeah, let's get back to the, the meat and potatoes. With all the monsters I sided, spells, or sky strikers. I had patron aid. And. I had twin twisters also. Yeah, so, would you say Sky Striker is your worst matchup, or? Uh, I think so. I think it is. Well, yeah. So this was really helpful against Alter Guys too, along with the red reboots. Ooh, red reboot. So you didn't like, you don't like back row. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I don't like back row. <laughs> All right. Uh, against, against Alter Guys. Against Alter Guys. Yeah. No disrespect, but that I don't. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in game three against the Alter Guys, uh, I was going first, but I decided to keep this in because if he stopped my Electromite or any of my plays, I wanted something to stop his trap. And on my second turn, I mean, well, on my first turn, I ended up desiring to this. And he stopped, he had permanence my Electromite before I desired. And then on his turn. So you kept it deliberately for impermanence? Yeah. Okay. But uh, I didn't draw it until after he had so, so, so I ended up setting it on my like turn. Five thousand dollars and scholarship. And then when he came back to me, he put protocol during my standby phase, so you get someone with a multi finger from hand. So I just flipped round reboot on him, and then OTK him. And his next card was wiretaps. Oh, so you would have punted, yeah. He won that. So you barely dodged that. Yeah. Any shout outs you want to give? Shout out to Cassie for the event. Shout out to Trenton for letting me borrow the World Sword. So he's got two, like, tracks. Shout out to your brother, too. You know. This guy for getting top Kansas City spinning Ryu. Look out for him. He, he does the 52 kick combo. He does Harioki. So you remember that. That's how that goes. <laughs> Inside the Budokan, fending off Shinobi in my cool, Obi Shotokan, showing off with my commissar, commissate with Samurai, I'm most